Alright, today we have a big day on the farm. Uh, we're going to be planting uh, cayenne chili peppers. We're going to be transplanting onions today. We'll be doing some red onions. Hey guys, that's me, Lou. I'm the wife. Some white onions. These are intermediate onions. Uh, we're going to be building a pond. Uh, we're going to be installing some drip irrigation systems. So we got quite a bit going on. But today, uh, we probably got about 150 guys out there transplanting onions. We're trying to wrap it up. Uh, we it is March what? March 17th. So these are the last of our onions. We started in January. So. We got, uh, we got quite a bit going on. So today we are transplanting onions over here. We have about 140 people out here are planting these onions. This is a yellow variety. And this field here looks a little different because this field here was cotton last year. And so it doesn't look the prettiest because you got the, you got the cotton still left over. We took out all the stems. Uh, the, the dirt's nice and soft so we can still get in and, and plant this, but uh, and so this is what it's looking like. Normally we plant onions after chili peppers, but this year, just for a rotation, we had to put some of them after cotton. Not all of them, just about 10% of our onions. So they get these bundles and then they take the leaves off and they'll take the leaf off because you don't want the leaf in the winds and the winds will bring this onion out. And so they take that off, they'll take the roots off, they'll take the dirt off and then they stick it in the ground and the bulb has to be in the ground and to be able to survive. So you want the bulb in, in the ground will bring the moisture up and then with that moisture and dirt it will start taking root if it is left outside of the ground like this the weather will dry it out it will not maintain any moisture to be able to grow it needs that moisture to set the roots down so if these onions aren't set right then they'll die in the field <laughs> No sé si Luis este es el buen pueblo, es que nos estamos muy bien. Ahorita viene de volar, de volar. And we do four inch spacing because that's the size we we want a three three and a half inch onion to a four and a half inch onion. And so we'll space them out four inches. And so we put about a hundred, I'd say a hundred thousand, four hundred thousand, four hundred thousand onions per hectare is what we're putting down on the foreign spacing and we have guys check making sure that they're at foreign spacing because if it's off an inch if it goes off one inch that's a hundred thousand less per hectare onion population and so we're trying to hit that four hundred thousand uh, per hectare population and get the size right
All right, so most of these workers here, they come up from south, southern Mexico, from Oaxaca or Guerrero. And a few of these families have been here for the past 25 years. What was your TikTok video on today? Ranger Diesels. The thing that Mexico does do right, they do the Ranger right. Let me tell you why. Wait, that sounds like a diesel. That's a dang diesel! So this Ford Ranger has a diesel. And people are like, what, what? Well, we're in Mexico, we farm in Mexico, so all of Central, South America, other countries, we have Ranger diesels. And that's what I drive daily. Uh, I used to have a, a power stroke, but it's too big of a truck. And, gave me back problems jumping around and it's not fuel efficient so you get a Ford freaking Ranger with a diesel and those are early onions we planted those in January they're looking good so they've been in for about a month all right sounds good These are some of the first onions that we transplanted. This is Carta Blanca, it's a white variety. And so we have, we started with some whites, some reds, and we have some yellows. But these have been in the ground since January 15th. And now it's March 15th, so they've been in the ground two months. But you can see the leaves. They got five leaves right now, so two, four, five. Uh, they're well rooted in the ground. Uh, they're looking good. The field's looking good. They, they've been through a very heavy frost. It, it froze, um, I mean, in, in other parts of the world, in, in southern Texas, it really affected uh, the onions. They were more developed, and, and so we're grateful. These are fine. They've been through the wind. Uh, uh, this is Chihuahua, Mexico. This is northern Chihuahua, Mexico. This is where we have these onions and this is where I farm. But um, we're looking good so far. And we got some yellows over here. These yellows over here are Vulcanin or Vulcana. Kind of hard to go back and forth from English to Spanish. These were all also planted uh, that, that same day and they're looking, they're looking great. So I think this year is going to be a good year. Check the moisture, this field, we need to bring up the moisture a little bit. But we come through, I check the moisture every day, make sure it's, the roots have plenty of moisture to grow. You go through, you check the thrip count. They always have thrips flying around. Uh, you just want to minimize that population of, of thrips. We put on a, a garlic repellent yesterday and so you don't see as many thrips uh, and they damage the leaves quite a bit and so we that's one of the bigger issues in in onions but uh we're looking good baby all right what we're doing right here is we're marking for the onion transplanting so this is all four inch spacing and there's four lines here we have a GPS guided tractor system, so this is GPS guided, this is the implement. So we'll make it nice and easy for the guys to, to plant. So the guys will come in, get their plants and plug it in these holes. This dirt is very soft, very soft dirt. We went through it first with the rototiller and then we mark it and then you can tell these are all straight, very straight lines due to the GPS. And so these we planted 10 days ago. You can see the leaves aren't up as, as high. They're just grabbing root right now. They probably shot down probably three to four roots about three to four inches deep and so they're not as developed and then these over here 
these have been in the ground for about a month and they're well established looking pretty looking pretty Oye, Jorge, hay, hay, que, hay que arreglar las fugas que está en lo que plantamos el lunes porque ahí está juntando mucho la, el agua y esas cebollas van a morir. How's that TikTok going? Good? Getting some traction? got traction right running. People <laughs> can't believe that there's a diesel engine in a Ranger. You're so cool. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> All right, so I'm just checking on the, the weed population. So when I detect different areas that have weeds, I'll send the, these pictures to the agronomist uh, to see what we do about these weeds and to my main guys in charge. para ver si ya aplicaron para la hierba uh, 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 así es como se ve Vamos para ver si, si ya lo aplicaron en esas so one of the cool things with technology now I just have a whatsapp group so I just take pictures of whatever issues we have in the field send it on our group chat in the farm so everyone is aware of what the issues are so I'll go through every morning uh, I'll see where there's leaks in the drip system. I'll see where there's weeds or where it needs to be cultivated. Put it on the group chat. And then so the, all the guys in charge on the farm, they can see the message and jump right on it. And so it's, it's made farming a lot, well, communication's key. And so it's made things a lot more efficient. In between uh, checking onions, there's a lot of this going on. A lot of what? Oh, you know, just social media, Instagramming, TikToking. I was checking the weather. Oh. <laughs> Actually, I was looking up a TikTok dance. <laughs> yeah, that's the truth right there. <laughs> What's the TikTok dance today? I don't know. There's no good one. Well, I just need to find a good one. Okay, let's find one. That's next on the to-do list. Posting another TikTok, huh? One more and then it'll be done. One more TikTok for the day. Hell yeah. This guy's the TikTok master. No way. You're like super famous on there nowadays. Not really at all. <laughs> what do you like about TikTok? It's just fun. And they're short videos for my attention span. <laughs> oh yeah? <laughs> Oh, looks looks great, babe. Looks great. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna get a lot of likes. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Dancing with some onions, you know. It's part of our day. Say, so, well, yes. What's that mean? Onions. Oh, let's see how he. Let's see all his TikTok tricks. That's it. Okay, posted. Nothing fancy at all. <laughs> I grabbed the wrong arpeas and they're on that side. That's what happened. Alright, just plant the, the just plant everything in Avalon and then we're, we're gonna try to figure out how we fix this mess. Just do it all yellow and make sure they're all yellow and there's no white arp arpeas and if yeah, no, no. and if you're saying there's some whites out here you need to get rid of them. So what's next on the to-do list today for Farmer Bronx El Vikingo? Get some um, tractor set up to start building a pond so we can irrigate when the electricity goes out. We have a lot of electrical issues in Mexico. And so when you have all these vegetables in the ground and they need water, uh, we're just gonna pump out of the three hectaria pond. And then I got the whole uh, direct seed some cayenne chili peppers and so we'll get that going uh, we'll probably do about 12 to 20 acres uh, to 
10, 15 hectares today. Actually, that's more acres, 25 acres. And so I, we do everything metric in Mexico. So a hectare is 2.47 acres. And so I'm constantly trying to do conversions in my head, trying to go back and forth from the US system to the metric system here in Mexico. All right, so we checked up on the field, we checked up the farm. Now we gotta go crunch numbers in the office. This is not my favorite part of the job, but it has to be done. You wanna meet my cactus? Yeah, let's meet him. All right, so this is New Max. That's her name. Oh, she's nice and furry. All right, this one's name is Tecate. All right, and this is Coca. I wonder why. Is that a Coca-Cola can? She looks like a Coca. Aww. And then over here we have Modelo. Aww. And then we got Jane because she's playing. Oh, okay, I like Jane. And Jane, then, you ain't playing, girl. And then we got Indio. There we go. <laughs> Those are my cacti. And they gotta get crunchy numbers. So, we'll get going on that. I'll get to thinking. See you next time. Bye.